So I'm just heading into the Camper Mart show at Telford. Uh, so the Camper Mart show is a show primarily for VWs, especially the transporters, and it's also a trade show, so there's going to be lots of camping things and entertainment on as well, so it should be a good day out, something a little bit different again, so uh, get ready to see a lot of VW transport. This car park, just give you a quick overview, so one multi-story, so you can see all the uh, transporters that are now so This is just the outside parking. So as you see, there's a lot of transport, and I think pretty much every car park in uh, Telford at the moment is just full of transporters. You see they're all still coming in. It's lined transporters. Let's go properly around the car park before we go in. Get this one high rider. Lifted. Least all the loads of transports coming in. So if you're into transporters, it's the show to be. There's uh, enough of them to look round. T5s, T6s, caddy vans, the Star Wars on the back. It's pretty cool, it's a luminous green one to back up. Nice Porsche. I like all these number plates, they're dub plates. <laughs> Quite a few got dub on their plates. It's like more of a camper the uh, top on it. Well, next week's got the awning on the side. This one on air ride, the lowest of plate. It's got the Rolls Royce, Rolls Royce wheels. Or centre caps anyway. <laughs> Lots of crafters. Cut. You go on to a good adventure with that. That's pretty awesome that is. Film as I go down, so you can sort of see some of the uh, some of the range. T fours. So they've still got some more coming in. It's a nice newer T six. Seventy two plates. It's got the uh, it's full camper. It's got the awning on the side. It's got the electrical cup on the other side. I think you're going to see pretty much every single uh, series of VW. Old to pretty much brand new. And it's got the odd other camper here as well. Got a Mercedes and a Renault Traffic, is it? Master, I can't remember. One of the two. And a uh, Seat Leon. <laughs> That was the first show car park, and there's another one round here now which got some of the Vantage sale as well. Vantage sale. 15,000. 15, it's got the uh, pop top. Captain spill chairs. Nice purple leather seats. Make a nice camper conversion, wouldn't it? To the back. Oh, it already is. It's got like the uh, slide at the back. It'd be good to see some like to anyone. Nice little unit there. That's the power. Like T6.1 with the pop top. It's got electrical cup. Feedback to it, so I'm not sure if it's a cup of the. Actually, it is, I can see. It's 49,000. But it's 18 plate, 29, 28,995. Which is also a camper version. Blue LEDs inside, it's pretty cool. Nice T5. 
interior to it. The Amy Stifflin tonight, I'm just recovering from a cold, so uh, I'm still a bit sick. I'm just calling the uh, Duke of Hazard livery. Nice new California beach, not between two plate, a couple of years old. Look at the graphics on it, this is cool. It's really awesome. So he's got his golf trailer at the back. This is a the camper setup. His bed and his TV. And he's got his camper set up inside as well. Look at the steam wheel. Pop windscreen. That's nice. That. It's got all these seats in the back. It's like Halloween theme. It's camp converted. Got this like sides unit, the fridge, the cooker. So this is an interesting car. If you know, um, last year I went to Van Life Festival, as you see. It's not again this year, I am going again this year. But this is uh, Damo's car, who's the organiser of uh, Van Life Festival. This is Beetle, Ferrari wheels on it. I'm really starting to like this generation of uh, Beetle. Good looking cars. You get with a 2 litre TFSI engine, the uh, TT. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to um, Van Life Festival this year. It should be really, really good. But here's some of the indoor show vehicle play. So, the cube play car instead. It's got a nice, uh, like, splatter paint wrap on the side. Was that nice? Like a, it's like an old bar. You can see it's a full bar. You've got a full bar set up at the back as well. Really interesting designs. That's actually all airbrush that it says on there. It's like steampunk, isn't it? UPS delivery van. <laughs> on air by the look of it. It's UPS coat. Ten. Yeah, they with a full bar set up at the back. Good old rusty van. Beautiful split screen. Side. 
13 windows, pretty little van. Absolutely beautiful split screen. Stunning. That's how beautifully restored some of these fans are. Stunning split screen. Really nice beetle on the air ride. It's cool. Probably like Rat Rod. It's got like a wood plank as it's from Bubble Pick up back, it's called the Reaper. DTM for sale. There's only ever 250 of these made. So it's a pretty rare car. Don't know what she wants for it, there's no price in it. So this is the main trade area now. The trade stands. So it's probably got all sinks. Nice. Italy bits for same proofing. Audio stuff, speakers, rock and roll beds. So they got like, the chairs. And it turns this steering wheels. Got all the gear knobs. Bought a flag from the uh, flag shop. Got the rising sun. Fitted mats for your transporters. And this is the ID bus. Nice wheels. So the shirt's ready free for a tennis. So I've just bought uh, 20 pounds worth. The uh, fantastic t shirts. Yeah. Scooby Doo's mission machine. I like the cover on it. They are starting to do little things with these uh, ID buses now. It's got the uh, bed in the back, the fold down chair. £73,000. Like these BW fans, it's just the price, them are so expensive. That is don't noise. But it said seventy thousand pound. You could get a big motor for that. <laughs> that looks nice. Which is it? Sixty thousand. Automatic, is it? Yeah. So we have the DSG box. The rock and roll bed in the uh, kitchen unit and the pop top. 56,000. Nice little kitchen unit. Fold out table. You've got 
rock and roll bed and the uh, big pop top. Brand new one here, 76 grand. <laughs> Toilet tent. Got the full set going on here, it's got a little cooker, it's a bike. It's the power and his fridge. It's 40 winks. GTI seats, tartan. All on the air ride. It's got his captain silver seats in it. The rear slide out. Van's right on the floor. Side eight unit. Something like that would be good for the back of belly. He wouldn't if I could like build some up like that. So I've got like a sink unit now and the little tap. Just makes room for like my portable cooker and have like a unit which can come in out the um, the boot. I reckon it'd be ideal. That looks nice lifted. Seats in this one looks nice. They look comfy. Little table set up, captain chair. One of looks like a detail, you've got like detailing stuff in the back. I like the colour of this one, it's like a Nardo grey. With Porsche wheels. Camp converted. But Golf R seats. It's the uh, Camper Jam winner. T5s. It's an edition 30 with the uh, pop top. Oh, nice audio set to the back of this one. Nice for sale, 69 plate. No price on how much it is, but. All camp converted. Rock and roll bed. Storage and cooker and sink. The fridge down there. Look who we bump into again. It's interesting where the electric hooker bits on that. It's behind the VW bed. Looks nice in the Repsol colours. Repsol race. Invaders. It's pretty cool.
and as I uh, went, <laughs> I can't remember, I locked the keys, and as I went to put the keys in my pocket, that's okay, right? And I thought, do you know what, I, I can live without that. I'll, I'll give you the key to take the padlock off, and I'll get another one. And I thought, I've got a great idea, yeah. because in the van, I've got, you know those extended... A man who can only be described as legendary, um, he is wearing a sequin jacket, sequin hat, sequin shoes, um, and goes by the name of Mr. Wig. Good afternoon to you. I'm very sorry, I forgot to see the Facebook. So, Mr. Wick, you have a YouTube channel. Yeah. What is your channel about? What do you do? Well, actually, I do all sorts of videos. I don't just don't try to focus on one uh, specific show, but I rather I do all sorts of videos. So, not only I don't feel bored, but I can reach actually more more uh, different the audience. So you've got a lot of you've got a lot of subscribers now. Yeah, well, that doesn't mean the numbers is nothing really. What sort of what sort of videos do you like uh, to make the most? Yeah, well, to tell you the truth, it's funny videos uh, I do like to do, but I'm now into food reviews as well. I do like my car to get me going. Yeah. I do boat shows. I do all sorts of shows really. But um, my own personal life, I do include even of my own videos. Once a year, YouTube actually asked me, could you do a video about your uh, real life? And I did, and I've been doing it now for the last five years. So you mentioned that you like cars. Is there a particular favourite of yours who sit here today? Uh, yes. Well, I would say this looks like a people just in front of us. Look at the mountain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It doesn't have a special paint, is it? But look at the modifications. It's just on a different level. <laughs> and one behind. There's plenty of here that I, I would like. I'm very impressed is how people, how far they go to modify a fan. Ten years ago, this it was impossible. But, you know, the thing is, this is very expensive actually. It can cost actually more to, than we modify a car, but the level of modifications is just outstanding. Tell us about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you get your name? That is a good question. Actually, a friend of mine who works with me he used to make funny videos and he used wigs. And I, I did ask him, look, help me to have a name on my YouTube channel. And he, he told me, why you don't use, just put wig, wig, it doesn't make sense. So I had something actually on the window of my neighbor, on the other opposite, and he said, Mister. And I said, wow. I will have Mr. Wee, so he said the Wee, and I use the Mr. and said it's wow. And I'm glad I use it because I'm in number one in Google Mr. Wee, so that is cool. So if, if you type. So I'm on the way back to the car now, here, lots of transports are leaving as well. So I'm back in the car now, I've got all my good mats and a bag full of stuff. So yes, that was a Camper Mart at Telford. Really, really enjoyed it actually. Obviously, it's very, very uh, VDB based. Um, which I don't mind. The transporters are growing on me. It's good to see all the different builds and um, it's nice to be able to go and have a look around all the uh, trade stores as well and I managed to pick up quite a few little bits and bobs for Ellie. So uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a good day out. Really enjoyed it. Um, the next show I think I've got coming up is the Caravan and Camping Show at the NEC. Uh, so that's not too far away now. So, so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next Adventure Valley video. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe.